great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Gonzaga Bulldogs and the Michigan State Spartans. And here we have our two players who are the focus of our Star Watch for today's game. And there are the starting lineups for each team. There might not be lights in the arena after the game if these two guards shoot them out like they're capable of. All right, guys are in position and we're ready for the tip. After all the anticipation, we're underway. Up and inside! In the lane and come up short. Dick, let's talk a little bit as they go into what looks like the flex, and they like to use this. Well, the flex offense can be very effective, especially that first screen coming off the weak side. Running that screener, you get the screener, and then the cutter, and they're usually very difficult to stop. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Now they work it around the perimeter. Goes up with it. Nails a sweet jumper. Trying to go inside. Goes up for two. Great shot. Man asking for a screen here. Hey, whether it ends up in a roll or fade, it's well executed two man game. It's always a treat to watch. Got it down on the low block for the bucket. He buries the shot. Kicks it out. He shoots from the corner. He rips it from downtown. We're at the four-minute mark, looking for a good shot. Jumper. Nope. He takes a three. Off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up. Misses the jumper. Gave it up. Aminu pump fakes. Stolen away. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The Bulldogs transition into offense. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Morgan picks up the foul. First personal foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Well, Dick, here's a player in just his freshman year. Hey, being a student in college is quite an experience, but being a student athlete is something on a whole other level. There are a lot of challenges you have to meet if you want to keep your balance and be successful. Rims out. He grabs the rebound. Here comes the ball screen. And it's knocked loose. Tries for two. Gets it to go. Sacre is usually described as being one of those powerful inside guys. I tell you, you know I like the way this kid uses his body, Brad. He's the type of guy you want in your roster. When you want that inside presence, his size and power is an asset. These guys have really been able to step it up so far, and they're putting together a very good team effort. I tell you, it's been great to watch these kids really work one another out there. 
They all have individual skills to put the ball in the hoop, but that isn't always what's best for a team. Everyone needs to get touches so they can feel involved. The crowd starting to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? We're going to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from the deep corner. Nails the jumper. We're at the two-minute mark. Sherman makes his first appearance. I tell you, this youngster can provide a spark on either side of the floor, Brad. Receives the ball. Puts up the J. He can't stay with him. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Look at that spacing. And his shot block. Aminu receives the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The shot's off target. Top of the key for two. Goes. One minute left to go. Looks like they're setting up into their zone motion. He shoots from right of the circle, scores it. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Looks like they're going to go with a full court man-to-man -man press, Dick. On the outside. The Bulldogs looking for the post up. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. For the bucket. Drains the shot. He can put points up and he can move the ball. It doesn't matter if you're a scorer who passes well or a good passer who can score. There will always be a spot for you on a team. At the end of the first half, the Spartans are trailing by two. Michigan State had a horrible first half, Dick, in turning the ball over. I see a lot of guys out there thinking too much when they have the ball. When you think too much on a basketball court, they try to be Aristotle, man. They're going to be basketball players. The opposition has time to react. You can't let them have that advantage. 